okay so let's let's I'm going to add I'm going to add a paint on this so selecting this my marks selecting this my marks already making sure on polyfill that this mesh is selected that's why it's not affecting the other this other, this other, this other piece in here that's fine I'll go back to my brush then I need to let me randomize this a bit go to this max select this select my grudge I select my grudge now need to randomize this okay this let me back my reference image this looks kind of nice okay, undo randomize ok maybe we should maybe we should stick with this I'll find my bronze the bronze still there just kind of covered up okay uh, let me randomize this again okay something like this should be fine then I would let me take this down Okay, let me take it up. Then I'm going to under the mask. I'm going to add a paint layer. So with this now I can can paint off where I don't want, but this is too hard. So let me let me do um let me do let me go to my brush. Letting my brush, I would use, I would use a dead brush. With a dead brush, I'll take down the brush size with the open and close bracket key, and I'm going to erase some of this. Going to erase some of this. Okay. Let me turn turn my move my lights. Okay. Something like this seems fine. Okay. If I should raise some, let me reduce my brush and raise some at the back. Something like this should be fine. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all. Alright, so I'll leave this. I'll leave this as it is. Now, now um, the only, the only issue here I feel is this. You know, this thing, that's fine. That's fine. So, no, so now that, now that, now that, now that we have that in there now, I can just let me save this. Now I can just apply. You can apply the other wood material. Let's just work on the other wood material and call it done for the woods. Okay. So I'll go to my texture set, select this texture set. I'll delete this. 
then on my smart materials I'll type in wood then I think this one works best I would just drag and drop this in here and I'll go to my polyfill should apply and I'll go to my polyfill and select on my poly okay let me add the black marks go to my polyfill I'll select this go back to brush now I can start making this look a bit more interesting let me zoom in here this is some variations of color in there already let me drag this around here okay Maybe I, should, maybe I should hide. Let me hide this so I can properly work on this. So with this now, let me go to my to the layers. I'll create a new fill layer for this. Tone of metal, tone of heights. I don't I don't put any any height information. Tone of normal. Then on the color, I will pick. Let's start with this. Let's start with the. Let's start with the dirt. Let's start with the dirt. Okay. Let me get a more darker tone to this. Let me see if I can pick a more darker tone. Maybe somewhere around here, yeah, this kind of greenish tone. No. I think I missed it. Let me do that again. Okay, so around here should be fine. I'll increase my roughness. Make this quite rough. Then I'm going to drop in the smart marks on this. Okay, let me uh, black marks. Go to polyfill. I'll select this, go back to my brush, then okay, then under my smart marks, under my smart marks, let me use a okay, let's use um, let me see, add a few, turn off all this for my fill. No, no, okay. Um, doing this wrongly, I'm select my marks and add a fill. No, 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 that won't work. Yeah, that won't work. Hope I've not lost the colors. Let me delete this. Let me just do the smart marks for this. That's Type in dirt. Dirt, dry dirt, dead dust, tea. Uh, I for one that work just nice. Okay. Hmm. Let me drag and drop this in here. No, I need to create a group, a group for this. Control G, put that in a group. Then I can drag in my marks in there. You know, this one is not sharp enough. Let me use something that is. Shepherd and that's that dry. Let's see if the rust material will do a better job for this. You cannot see the preview. Let me drop this here. Okay, uh, this, this is giving us a better result. 
It's gonna give us a much better result. Then now uh, I need to I need to blow this. So right click all uh, the filter to this. I'll filter uh, use a blow. Let me take this up a bit more. Just way too much. Somewhere around here should be fine. So around here should be fine. So I'm going to, I'm going to check my mo around this my model. As you can see, I mean, now we need to we'll begin to start using my brush in here. It's looking good already. Maybe I'll just go to just go to the max and begin to randomize this. Okay. Let me go. Let me look for a good spot for this. Yeah, this one seems this seems fine. <laughs> Randomize this. Yeah, this one seems about right. I'll leave this as it is. So it is. I can I can do a duplicate of this. Select this. I'll do a duplicate of this. I will duplicate this, Ctrl D to duplicate this. Then in here, I will remove these marks and drop in something like this in here. Put this, drag this below, drag these marks below. Let me hide this for now and see what this is giving us. So this. Uh, okay, turn that on. Let me turn this one off. Let's see what this is giving us. So that's fine. So maybe I'll just go to the color and then make this particular one feel a bit darker. Make this kind of a bit darker. Oh, okay, maybe let me give it a more greenish. More greenish tone to it, kind of like a dark green, so around brown. Uh, something like this should be fine. Yeah, something like this seems fine. And let me turn that back on. Maybe this, this particular one should be should go under. Let me put this one should go underneath here yeah, like so. Then I will just dial this back down. I don't want to give you that that variation in there. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Now I have some variations in there. Maybe I'll just go in to that max and okay. I turn let me leave the blow off. Let me leave the blow off for this and go and randomize. Let me name this dark green. So I should let me put this around brown. I feel I should still have some variation in here. Let's see. No, yeah, I think that that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So I'll go in here. I'm going to play with the randomization for this. Randomize this. Let's see what this gives me. Okay, so this is fine. This looks fine. Okay. Uh, let's see if I should have this on triplanar mapping. 
No, it doesn't. It doesn't do much. It doesn't do much. I'll just leave this. Let me leave this. Uh, let me leave this as it is. Then you need to repaint some. You need to paint some. Okay, we already have some bright spot already. But let's just paint in some more bright spots in in here. Collapse this. I'll do a save. You know, on top of this, I'll just paint some really bright, some really bright and dark spots in some regions. So I'll create a new fill layer. Okay, let me delete. Let me delete this. Let me just copy, copy this. Control C. Control V. Paste this on top of this, and I'll just go in and choose. Let me start with the dark ones. Something brown is really really dark brown. And I would let me do a completely black max for this. Take down my brush size and then start painting it back in here. Painting it in here. Okay, painting some in here. Go in and paint some in here. Uh, looking for those crevices and then try and paint something in there. I'm still going. I'm still going to dial this back down. I'm still going to dial this back down, but. For now, let's have something in just regions. Okay. Take down my brush size and paint something in here. Okay. You don't need to paint it on every single piece, but just in some areas. Just give it just give it a bit more depth to it. Just give it a bit more depth. So go in here and paint also. Um we're almost almost there. Let me paint something in here. You can also make it feel like some kind of charcoal charcoal stain or something. I think finally we'll just do something in here also. Let me take take my process up and paint in there. Okay, this should be fine. Okay, let's just a little in here and here. Now I can I can dial this back down. Something like this should be fine. Something like this should be fine. Then now I need to um, control D to duplicate this. Let me let me just name these dark spots. Dark spots. Dark spots. Then this one should be my. Let me clear. Let me clear my marks. Should be bright spots. Bright spots. Now going in here and kind of pick the tone. Give a very bright tone for this. Can I temporarily? Can I remove the marks and see what this gives me? Okay, this is fine. Add black marks. And now I can begin to paint in regions where I want that hot spot, that hot spot to be kind of bright. Okay. Okay. 
let me take down the bro size that seems a bit much uh, okay go in here Okay, do some in here also. Let's go in here. Where I already have those hot spots, I'll just kind of make it look slightly intense. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, I have a lot going on in here now. Making the wood look more realistic. These dark spots, maybe. Let me select that dark spots. I'm painting some more in here. Oh, yes. Painting. Some more in here, okay. That's fine. Okay, we should take let me turn this down a bit more. Oh, maybe I should put this on top. Okay, that's fine. So I'll do a save for this. So now now we can see what practically done with the with this particular for for that's for our wood or done with the or done with the wood piece well it looks really good closer shot on this looks really good as you can see green some green green tone in there some death tone in there brownish death tone in there some dark shades in there making it look more realistic okay so now let's let's in the next lesson we're going to carry on and then work on this cloth piece. But I think right now we can just we can just easily do something for this leather piece. So back in here I will just let me group all of this, select all of this. I'll put this in a group. Name this group wood. Okay, now this part on the in this nanny's leather, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So on my on my smart material, I'll just search for leather. Search for leather and I'll look for one that kinds of match that. Okay. Uh. Let's see that one of these two really matches what we are looking for. Leather damage. There's not some green in there. Okay, let's drop in this leather damage and we can tone this. Uh, leather damage and then I'll group this. Then I add the black marks for this, and I go to my polygon fill. So on the mesh, I'll select these three. Go back in here. Then open up this leather. On the base color, we need to tone tone this. So I'll be using. Let's use. Let's use color from. Uh, colors from this okay maybe a bit more to the brownish something around here should be fine something around here looks fine 
None of the damage you can see how is looking not bad at all. Okay, but let me turn on him turn on turn on back the damage and make this look look a bit rough. It has too rough, maybe somewhere around here should be fine. And I'll leave the dirt for this. Okay, not bad. It was just missing to work on this a bit more. I would, on top of Let's see, uh, yeah, on top of this, I'll create, I'll create a new layer on top of this, create a new fill layer on top of this, make this rough, uh, and then I'll choose kind of like a bright tone, be somewhere around, somewhere around here yeah, should be fine. Then you can let me turn off turn off height normal metal. Then I want to use a smart max for this. Name this rust. Go for rust. Okay, let me look for something better. Uh Something not to okay, dead soft. So for something nice that will work for this. Mm, let's okay. Let's start with this dead soft. Now just drag drag and drop this in here. Don't think that is doing much as I would expect. Okay. Mm, no much. Let me let me undo that. Let me move that max. Let's try something different. Let me try this. Okay, yeah, this looks better. This looks better. Then I'm going to I'm going to blow this. Going to blow this. So I'll add a filter. I'll add the blow filter for this. That seems a bit too much. And then I'll, I'm going to randomize, go to random for this, build the randomization for this. Okay, let me see if we can turn this back down. Okay, that seems fine. That seems fine. Yeah, I think it's better like this. Okay, so then for the cloth piece, for the cloth piece, let me close this. For this cloth piece, let's just pick. Let me see, do a quick save on this. Let's just pick a fabric material and then drop in some dirt, some dirt in there and try to work our way upwards. So, see, what's it going to be? Some colors that we got in here, some of the colors in like this green and the dark shade for the cloth, also. So, first of all, we need to get in. Yes, 
get some fabric texture textures in there so i'll go to my materials type in fabric type in fabric look for something that should work nicely on this fabric rough leather bag no okay this one looks fine so i will drag and drop this on this piece i'll put this in a group all the black marks I'll go to polygon fill I'll select this this and this go back in here I don't necessarily need the color let me just change the color let me up uh, this is my skill Let's have something that ties neatly around this. You see, uh, I think the previous it go outside of this. I think this one looks fine. This looks fine. I'm going to select this piece, include inclusive. Then now uh, I believe I can change the color. Now I'll go back in here. Let's use a brighter tone. No, I like to stay affecting this in a way. I like to stay. I like to stay affecting this. I should, move, I should move my light around let me get it somewhere around somewhere around here should be fine yes I think I believe so height range put this like this normal intensity take this up a bit okay let me get this let me look for a brownish let me put this around a brownish kind of a dead not completely white Okay, yeah, this one looks this, this seems fine. So now I can go back to my I can go to my wood and go to my wood. I would copy this. Let me select okay, let me select this, this, and this. I'll do a copy. I'll go in here, name this to clothes. In this to clothes, uh, now I'll paste this in here. So all I have to do is to let me open up. Let me open up these guys and bring that out of the group. Select the groups and delete them. Delete that group. Now clear the marks. Clear marks. Clear marks. I'll clear marks for this also. Okay. Okay, it's not affecting it yet. Let me let me take this back up. Let me move the mark. Let me remove the marks for all of these move marks. So once you move marks, you can see them affecting it now. Move marks. Okay, yeah, there. So let me bring back the marks. So I'm going to start with the green. On this green, I'm going to drop in a smart max for this. I'll use a dead. I'll 
Let me drop. Let me start with the brown one. For the brown one, I'll drop in this in there. I should begin to see something. Yeah, we're going to see something in there now. Okay. Maybe I should go for the overall look of this fabric. I should go something close to brown. Yeah, something like this. We go out. Something like this should be fine. Okay. Then back to this brown. So you can see. Have something in there now. Maybe I should go in and begin to play with some of these my mark settings. Balance. Okay. Now let me turn this off for now. Now on the green, I'll drop something in there also. Let me drop this dead dry. Then I'm going to blow this. Add a filter blow. Blow this. Blow. Okay. Something like this should be fine. Then I'll go in here and kind of blend this back into my material. Bring this back on. Okay, upload this dark spots. Let me take this down a bit more. Now, these dark spots, I think I can begin to paint, paint this in. Let me go to my, let me go to the marks. My brush, yes, with my brush, I can begin to paint. I'm going to paint this back in, painting, painting some stains in there. Maybe, maybe it's also be a good idea to bring some of my. Some of these blood stains on this piece also. Uh, going here, I'm painting some of the deaths. I'm, I'm trying to make this look like something that a guy in the jungle has used for a very long time. Though my clothes supposed to have some kind of tear in there, but uh, it's still, still okay. Not too bad. Still okay. So maybe I should copy this bright this bright spot also. Copy this. Copy my bright spots. I paste this here. Of clear marks. Clear marks for those and start painting in that bright spot in here. Yeah, it's making it look a bit more interesting. Though we we'll still need to blend this back, but it's giving it some interesting colors to this. So let me change my lights. Let me do a quick save on this. 
big save okay let's start continue painting this it just look quite stained do the same also in here just I'm just reusing what I do have so I kind of have that blend so I kind of have that blend within be between those between the colors on this on this my piece okay Yeah, almost there. I think lastly, I'll just do this scene here. Do I need to still blend this? I think this looks fine. Okay, okay, I've already blended this already. I'll leave this. I'll leave it the way it is. Okay. Now for this, for this thing, let me do something for this thing. Let me do something for this thing. So I'll create a new fill layer on top of this. Freeze this. Uh, change the color to this red. Gonna pick that red. Okay. Then all the black marks. I can just drop in. Let's just let's use this. Let me drop this in here. Yeah, this, 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 looks, this, looks, this, looks, this looks good. Maybe I should make this a bit red, a bit. Yeah, something like this is fine. Okay, not too much. Something like this is okay. I'll just leave this as it is. Leave this as it is. Maybe I should have some variation on this. On the roughness, here is better. Let me have some variation on the roughness map. Okay, it just looks like some some already dried in, and some some of the blood looks wet. So this is fine. Okay. Uh, the leather is leather looks good. Leather is not that bad. No, you can always go in there and then work on this a bit more if you want to. Let me name this leather. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That that's a leather. That's a leather. That's a leather. Let our roughness okay, not bad at all. So, I'll do a quick, quick save. So, lastly, when we come back, we're going to be texturing our, our metal piece, and that'll be the final piece we're going to be texturing in here. So, I'll see you guys in the next lesson.